The sport I've chosen for analysis is the international contact sport of rugby union and specifically I'm looking at the English and the Australian side and even more specific than that I'm looking at the loose forwards positions. So that is number six, seven and eight in the Australian side and as I'm just analysing the English team in a comparative way they've just been given the opposition numbers here. So for the Australian side I'm looking at Michael Hooper, David Pocock and Scott Fardy. In essence, these positions have quite a lot to do with attack and defence. So the performance indicators I wanted to use for this analysis do reflect that they have both attack and defensive uh, attributes. So in terms of making this dashboard as simple as possible, I've actually made the dashboard the same for the uh, Wallabies Australian analysis and the English analysis. So when I'm doing the Australian one, I'm only using these three tagging buttons here for the two analysis that I'll do. And then in the English uh, analysis, I'll be using these three buttons here. In terms of the performance indicators I've chosen, uh, these three positions are quite involved in tackles, rucks, breakdowns, and really going for turnovers and anything involved in the, the scrappy sense around uh, the contact points of the game. So the first performance indicator I was looking at was turnover as this is probably most relative to number six and number seven, but number eight actually does elicit some turnovers in a game as well. So the simple way of coding this would be to click Michael Hooper and then cru cruise down to uh, turnover success if you did get the ball or failure if you did not get the ball. Uh, tackling being a contact sport like rugby union is probably one of the most common outcomes of the game. So being a tackle, they could either make a successful tackle where they would take the player down and the uh, play would stop there or a ruck would commence or if they miss the tackle that would be a failure. In terms of line break that's certainly more an attacking scenario and that was quite simply if one of these players did break a tackle they would be classified as a line break success so you would come down here and just click success. Carrying the ball was a measure of the uh, workload of the player. So if any of these players did carry the ball into contact in any way, that was simply going to be clicking their name and a ball carry success again. Uh, having a passing game in any type of really uh, team sport involving a ball, being able to pass accurately and effectively is always a good trait to have. So it's probably more relative to all players in the team, but it's always good to get this sort of analysis as well. So if the pass went to hands of the next player and play continued, that would be a pass success. Uh, if the player, this player dropped the ball or the following player dropped the ball, uh, that would be a pass failure there. In terms of line out assist, these players of six, seven and eight, Hooper, Pocock and Fardy, are virtually always involved in the line out in some way. So if there was a line-out and the Australian team did get the ball back, that would actually be line-out assist success. If they were involved in the line-out and they did not get the ball back for whatever reason, that would be line-out assist failure. The final performance indicator is probably one of the most common ones that these players would be involved in, and that is ruck assist. So that is after a tackle and the play is uh, broken down on the ground, if any of these players are involved in the ruck, whether it be in attacking or defensive sense, they would be clicked and they would be considered an accept, a success as they are involved in that ruck there. I've chosen the dashboard in this way just to try and get it as simple as possible uh, considering this is my first attempt at using Longo Match software. So in terms of doing the coding for the first time, I wanted to make sure it was as easy as possible to use. And then if someone were to pick this up after myself as well, it would be quite simple for them to pick it up and do this coding software. 